Can you believe it? It's just less than a week away is the Grumpy Cat Christmas movie. The worst Christmas ever. I've got my DVR already set. Epic. It's gonna be epic. What's up, Memos? I hope you had a great week. I hope you enjoyed the toy project on Friday, the blocks and the pull cart. That's really a cool toy, and I really do think that if you wanted to start selling things, that would be a good one because you could just bang out a whole bunch of those, and it doesn't cost hardly anything to make them. Check this out. Ah! <laughs> It's a little out of season, but it's a toe pincher coffin, and it's based on mine. Remember, I made my pallet, my pallet version uh, a couple of years ago, last year maybe it was, for Halloween. That was from Christopher Murphy, and look what also he made me. He made me a San Francisco sign with the 49ers colors. He was afraid to actually use the logo on there since it would be in my videos, and it will be. I'm going to put it up there, but I think we all know it's the 49ers. How many of us saw the Oakland game last week? Oakland won a game. It's a Christmas miracle. But there was a part of me that really wanted to see if they could break some record by having the longest losing streak ever. Go Raiders. Hope you're ready for awesomeness. Milton Industries. This is, hear that? You know what it is? This is a Milton Bell. <laughs> this is one of those like old fashioned service station, gas station bells. Well, I suppose they, they still might use them in some places where you, you'll drive over the, the thing and it goes ding, ding, ding. This is from Milton. His son is Chip. And I, I don't know if any of you have watched Chip's videos. Chip makes woodworking videos and they're really, really awesome. And you, you got to check them out. But they both really liked what I did. And they said, hey, you know, we make these bells. Would you like one? I am to totally going to set this up. Look, I've got like, uh, it's got this, you know, hose that you, you drive over. And I think it's air pressure activated. I can give you a preview of what it sounds like. You want to hear it? This gets plugged in. And then you, you hook it up here because there's there's air that activates it. Are you ready? Listen to this. <laughs> oh, the neighbors are going to love that. Uh, thanks, Milton. Thanks, Chip. Thank, I really like watching your videos, Chip. I hope you keep doing that. Okay, remember on last week's Mere Minutes, I said, one of these days I'll get me a, a regular spray gun so I won't have to keep buying cans of spray paint. Look at this, it's a whole kit. This is from Will Wilson. He heard that and he says, oh, let me just send you one. <laughs> so that's really cool. So I've got, a, I guess, a learning curve here, you know, how to operate all of this. It's the unboxing. That's what it looks like, that's all the stuff. So I'll give that a shot. And I think that'll save me some money on spraying lacquer. Thank you so much, Will. Uh, people have been asking me about Mere Minis and Ask Mimos. I'm gonna start resuming those pretty soon. In fact, I've got a Mere Mini coming up this Tuesday, so keep an eye out for that. It's a real busy week ahead. I've got a couple of big announcements I'm gonna make. I could, I could probably tell you guys ahead of time. Shh, don't tell anybody else, but they involve a website. New website and involve a new YouTube channel also. It's been a long, long time in the making for both of these projects and it just so happens that they've kind of come together at the same time. So I'll be making an announcement on Wednesday about the new channel and I'll be making an announcement on Friday about the new website. We're still working on it, it's still buggy. We've got some bugs in it, you know, need to be worked out. Don't know what I'm doing with my hand. And don't forget, there's still a week left to submit your toy box. If you're considering making one of those toy boxes for the Woodworkers Fighting Cancer, November 30th is the deadline. And if you've made one, take a picture of it and you can send it to Mark Spagnolo at the Wood Whisperer and he'll uh, tally tally them all. And don't forget the cart and block set I made on Friday is also up for auction right now. That auction ends next Friday and all of those proceeds go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. This year we've raised over $4,000 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. That's pretty cool. Did I tell you guys about the toy box that I made that I donated to the Novato Community Hospital? Man, they, they loved that thing. So it was... Uh, they're going to put it in their children's department and they said they really needed one and especially since that one has an area for the books on the side because they're always having to take books out and clean them, you know, because it's germy and I don't know how people work in a hospital. I admire all of you who work in a hospital because I would be just paranoid that I'd be getting sick every day. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget, no project video next Friday, but I do have a mere mini on Tuesday. I've got an announcement video on Wednesday and an announcement video on Friday. Huh.